welcome to August 26th, the fourth day of the week, the fourth, fourth work day of the week. The Bible will call it the mist of the week, or the middle. Time to get right on over into the Lord's care ministry. Knowledge and wisdom comes from above. Day 238 of the year 2009. Time to open up our Bibles again, brothers, and we're going to go over to Psalms, chapter 23 and verse 5. And I suggest you write the chapter and verse down so you can study the whole subject at your own leisure. Also use the pause button because I go faster than what you can find a chapter and verse in your own Bible. We're starting Psalms, chapter 23 and verse 5. My cup is running over. You notice when I, you see an E-T-H there in the King James, I put an I-N-G there, and an is before the word, and that brings everything right up to date. My cup is running over. Now let's go to Psalms, chapter 34, verses 8 through 10. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that is trusting in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good things. Now let's look at Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 through 23. His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Now Psalms chapter 16 verses 5 through 6. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 22. Whether the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 11. I have learned in whatever state I am, therewith to be content. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 6 Godliness with contentment is great gain. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Before honor is humility. Pride brings destructions. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 12 reads, Before destruction the heart of man is haughty and before honor is humility. With arrogance. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 13 there is a generation. Oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. With shame, Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 2. When pride comes and pride and... Pardon me, let's start that over again. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 2. When pride comes, then comes shame, but with the humble is wisdom is a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Thy way, not mine, O Lord. 
Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 11. The Lord will guide you always. Brother, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God and believe all them traditions do. Every one of them. Christ was killed in the midst of the week. That's what you find back in the Old Testament. That's what you find in the New Testament. And because of that, the Bible shows that Christ was buried in the midst of the week and that brought him up on the Sabbath. Late in the Sabbath, true. Not the first day of the week. To you, Otterman's tradition, and honor him on the first day of the week, that's up to you. But by doing that, by following man's tradition, you make void the Word of God. And by making void the Word of God, you're following the broad path of destruction as told in Matthew chapter 7 verses 13 and 14. Do you want to follow the narrow path as mentioned there? The path that goes to the kingdom and salvation. Then throw all that tradition of men away and follow the Lord. If you really want to follow the Lord, get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father and the Son for forgiveness for following men instead of them. And if you truly want to change in your heart, the Father and the Son will hear you and grant you that way to the kingdom. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.